Good evening and welcome to this uh, week's uh, Elliott Wave uh, Market Analysis. Uh, today we're just looking at the chart of the week. Uh, this is not necessarily a trade, but just uh, an educational video on how to analyze uh, the market differently using the Elliott Wave technique. This is going to be an interesting one. So let's get started. So we're going to be looking at the gold chart today. All right, so what I have here is the gold chart, the weekly, the gold chart on weekly. I could have gone to the monthly, but I can start this analysis on the weekly because I already know what's going on uh, historically. So if you need to analyze, when you, when you analyze a chart, you need to analyze it from top down and, and, and analyze the whole cycle. So this is going to be very interesting. Just keep glued and watch. Uh, it's going to be very interesting analysis. We're going to try and keep it to uh, 15 minutes. We're not going to waste time. So weekly gold chart, what are we seeing there? I can already see the whole structure. I can see the whole cycle from this chart. And what I see here is this big parabolic move. And any time before this parabolic move, the only correction you have is this one. You did not have a bigger correction than this before this move. And after that, the correction comes. Okay? So if this is all you're seeing, do you see any one, two, three, four, five here? There's no one, two, three, four, five that you see. So this means that this is a three-wave move. So if it's a three-wave move, then this is your A, this is your B, this is your C. Okay? We don't force things that are not there. All right? So this means that there was probably a cycle that was coming from this all the way down in three waves that ended here. So what we're seeing here now is that there's a move that starts like this. And when that move starts, we actually get a corrective structure here. Let's do it clearly. You see that we get a corrective structure here in three waves. And then from there, we start the move down. See? And this move looks like it's making a one, a two. And now we're going for a three here. And then a four here. Why am I putting a four here and not putting it there? Because this will not make sense. It's not a single wave. So you have to have three waves. So you've got one, two, three waves here. So one, let's look at that. One, two, three, that's your wave four. So what happens to wave five? Wave five starts a diagonal. It ends with a diagonal. As you'll see as we, when we go to the lower time frame, uh, let me do it with a different color. I'm going to use green there for the diagonal lines. There we go. And then we're going to use just a different color just to show the internals of the diagonal. So this is one, uh, not this color. Let's use green. This is one, two, three, four, five. Textbook diagonal, one, two, internally. Three, four, five. Okay, so that five is ending this move, which is your way five there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five in yellow. You can even put these ones in circles. Can you see, you can follow the degree. So this ABC is in the same direction, it's in the same degree as the one, two, three, four, five. See? And all this correction, you can see the sizes of these corrections are related. That's what degrees means. You need to relate the degrees. You, just, you don't just put in one, two, three, four, fives where the degrees are not the same. So what comes out for a one, two, three, four, five? You either get an a double X, Y, or an ABC. But what I see here is a three-wave move. So if it's a three-wave move, that is a W. But then here, you see that this one is impulsive. And this is doing something like this, one, two. So we're expecting that it's going to make this move and this move. So this will be a W. This will be a W. This will be an X. And eventually, we're going to get a Y. Okay? So we already have our structure in three waves in the, in the higher degree. What do we have here? We have a structure that ended here in three waves. And now we're starting the one, two, three, four, five. Five wave move down. We're getting a WXY. You see here, we can even go higher. So if we're going higher, 
this will be a W, and this W is representing the one, two, three. And here you can see that we're starting with a, with a three-wave move. That will be your X, and then that will be your Y. So we can forecast this going higher and higher and higher degrees, right? But what we need to only focus on now, because we already know the structure, we know that we need to go there at some point, but we can, as you can see, we are not going there in a straight move. We're not going there in a straight move. Yes. Yes, excuse me, the baby is crying here. Right, sorted. Apologies, guys. Let's carry on. So we can already see that we want this move to the upside. One, correction, three. That's one, two, three waves. Where are we now today? We are in this move. This move we've been following for the last uh, year or so. So let's go and focus into this move. So we know that we are between W and X and we need to go to a Y, but we still have a move down and a move up. So when does this one complete? So we go right into it. So I'm gonna clear everything and go into the daily. And in the daily, I'm just gonna be focusing on this move. Right, now we go, daily. Go daily. So this is the move that we've we've been looking at. This way that wave five ended. As you can see, the wave five ended here. Right. So if wave five ended here, it is that W one, two, three that we want here. We've got this W, you got this X, and then you get a Y here. That we're looking to end there okay so if you see here continuing with our degrees you see here we've got a three-wave move in here this is why this is a three-wave move we're calling we're not labeling it as a we're not labeling it as an a but a three-wave move w all right so after that we get another three-wave move down but this one looks impulsive and in a lower degree than this one so you can see here, you've got a lower degree, one, two, three, here was a lower degree. Actually, this should be red as well, to show that the, oh, that's actually the right one. You've got a yellow here and the lower degree yellow. So now we want to look at this piece here. Okay, let's go into that one. So when we look at this piece, I'm gonna stay with the daily chart. I'm gonna stay on the daily. So we now know that this whole thing has been a correction from the beginning of 2017 up until today. So that's over a year now, almost a year. So how are we looking at this correction? This correction looks like it's doing this. Let's do it to this with a yellow color. That's one, two, three. And then in between there you get another one two, three, what are we expecting? We're anticipating that we're gonna get another yellow move like this. Why have I been looking for a big correction for the last couple of days? Because I was looking at this move here to be a similar structure as this one. And what is this structure? It's not just lines. If you see here, this is not just lines, this is W, uh, excuse me. This is W, which is, which is representing this one, two, three. This is X, and this is Y. Here. So if you go in lower degree, this will be your W. What is the red one representing? The red one is representing the three waves. Remember, a W is a three-wave move, okay? So this X is a red one also. It's representing a three-wave move. Here you've got an impulsive one. You won't see it in this degree. It's, you've got a one, two, three, four, five here. So you won't see it in this degree. You can see it when you go to the lower time frame. Here you've got another red degree. One, one, uh, let's do that. One, two. This is where we are today. We are looking for this three. This is why I've been saying I want a deeper correction. So you see when you understand structure, when you understand structure, you also know which corrections are going to be slow, which ones are going to take long, and you can actually forecast where it's going to end. So 
If we carry on putting in the labels, you can see that this is a lower degree W. Actually, that's not a W, that would be an A. Let's put in our A here, our B, our C. All right. So we've got our whole structure. We've got, you've got this whole correction. We can understand what it is doing. So we can even come here and focus how to analyze this. Okay, so we're gonna come to this AB correction here that we've been focusing for the last couple of weeks as well. So I'm gonna clear and go into the four hour and just go into that correction. You guys are so familiar with that one because we've been looking at it for a while now. So let's look at this one. See how clear this is. So this year is a three wave move. One, two, three. And as we said, we're looking for this to do one, two, three. And after that, how many times have I said I want a bigger correction like this? So we can actually do get something like this. Get something like that. A bigger, deeper correction like that, which when complete, we're gonna get this. What is this correction looking like? It looks like a W, X, Y. I've done a video on how to trade double XY like a pro. So let me show you how to trade double XY like a pro. Like a pro. Now we've got double XY here. Okay, we don't just draw lines. I mean, normally during this weekly webinars, I don't show you the fibs and the turning points and all that. So I'm just gonna give you one trick. Actually, it's not even a secret because I've got a, there's a video on my channel which you can go and look at how to trade double XY like a pro, where you can see how to trade this double XY. So where do we expect this? If this is W, this is X, this is Y. Let me just switch on the, lab, the labeling here and clear it up a bit. So if this is W, this is X, where do we anticipate that this level will go? If you remember, we said this level here must go around the 61% extension of the move of this move, which is this one, two here and back here. All right. What does that mean? So it means that we need this to come to the 61. If it comes to the 61 here, you're gonna to expect to get a correction. So if you get that correction, then it means a different degree now. Let's use, let's use blue. Then you're gonna have a W, X, Y to complete this move. And where will this move complete? This move will complete at this level. Let's show you now. One. You want a move that is similar in size as this one. So that will end right there at 100%. So we're projecting that this move will end down there. This will be the blue box, All right? So this is clearly, we can clearly see this now. So if this is, what are we looking here? We, we, if you look on the higher term, on the higher, Degree. We, we're simply looking for a three wave move, which is this W, X, Y. And we're going to be looking to buy when it gets to this area. Okay? So, just to show you that this trick actually works, look at this first WXY. You can see that this is a WXY. This was a W, this was a X, this was a Y. Just to show you why we're going to be expecting this one to be at the 61. Look at this one here from here to here, back. Look where this one started the correction. It started right on the 61. This is your 61% extension. It started the correction here. So you see, we can pinpoint this entry. So even here, wait for it to get to this 61, but this 61 is not for this. So this one will start correcting here and you get, can, you're gonna get the remainder of the move to this level. So if you wanted a trade, in the next coming session, wait for it to correct when it starts touching the 618 extension here. And that looks, at, uh, that looks like it's around 1317. All right, so from there, we should expect a bounce, corrects, and then we get this move to the downside. And from there, we're gonna be into this blue box here where we're gonna expect that this correction will be over. Remember what I said about a correction, a big correction and a deeper one like this one? The deeper the correction, the bigger the move to the upside. So that's what we're gonna be looking for on gold, okay? Hope you learned something today. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. So the only thing that you need to look out for a trade here is a flag. 
for this move to the downside. And then we're going to look for upside here. Okay. Happy trading. Enjoy it. Have a great week ahead. Cheers. Bye-bye.